Daniel Negreanu has made the final table of the World Series of Poker $1,500 Pot Limit Hold'em event, joined by Tommy Vitis, Jonathan Aguiar, and chip leader Brian Pellegrino. Card Player TV caught up with him to learn more. Well, I mean, the first three events I played uh, didn't have anything go well for me, but I was really happy with the fact that I played every hand well, and I feel like I've done that all the way through the whole World Series so far. Um, it's early, but this is the best World Series I've had in terms of being like mentally prepared for every hand, and I made it to the final table out of 639 players. It's a good start. While playing down to the final table, Negroni was partaking in some live multi-tabling by playing the 5K Mix Max No Limit Hold'em event. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm playing two tables, but realistically, I'm focused on the pot limit hold'em, and I thought as a backup plan, if I don't make the final table, I still have some chips in the other one. As it turns out, I doubled up in the other one just playing a couple hands crazy, and uh, so I still have chips there. Um, so again, that's just like secondary. If I bust this, I'll have something to do after that. Um, but as far as the pot limit hold'em, it's very different than no limit. You know, it, it, it seemed like it was 19-handed for two hours, and no one went broke, because um, 20 big blinds in pot limit hold'em is like 35 big blinds in no limit because of the ante situation. So I've, I've won a brace in pot limit hold'em, the first one I ever played, so I feel comfortable. The Rio has introduced betting odds on final table events this year, and Card Player TV asked Negroni what he thought his odds were of taking home the bracelet. Well, I don't know. You know, I've got 212,000, and there's a couple guys with some big stacks out there. Um, Based on what I'm guessing, they're probably not going to give good odds on me because they're probably thinking people might want to bet on me. I don't know. I'm, I've got enough action on myself, so I don't need to gamble on it. Make sure to stay tuned to see if Negranu can take down his fifth bracelet as Card Player TV brings you more coverage of the 2012 World Series of Poker.